What's up, nerds? So I got an idea for today. You the tiles you know this? I'm on a tea kick recently because this clip. You know, honestly, the reason why I've been into tea so much recently is because uh, <laughs> I listened to In Utero for the first time, the Nirvana album, and there's a song on that called Penny Royal Tea. And I was like, I haven't had tea in a while. <laughs> and I have with me here a variety of teas, 10 different kinds, I believe. Some of them are expired, some of them are not. Like the ones in this variety pack should, nope, these are expired too, cool. You can call me an authority of tea, for we have a variety that I think covers a pretty wide sample size of teas. So here's our tier list. I like practical scales and stuff, so bear with me. Up here we have the Ambrosia tier, below it, Terrific. Below that, taste tea. Below that, bearable. Oh, it's kind of a stretch. And at the very bottom, tea rash. Hopefully there aren't too many in the trash tier, but I gotta be honest, I like very few teas. So I don't know why I spend so much money on all these different kinds, but I did. I'm pretty sure that most of them are herbal too, so expect a lot of this region. That doesn't, nope, that's not right. You gotta pop this open first. God, oh my God. Let's start the tier list with just some standard black tea. Okay, that's got a brew, doesn't it? It's gonna take forever if I don't do it this way. Oh, this bag has a hole in it. Ah, crap. All right, so I'm a fan of black tea, but I feel like it's a good baseline, right? Because it's like the most basic tea there is. Here we go. Let's stop deluding ourselves, by the way. That's repulsive, but it's repulsive in a good way. You know how when you're a kid and you're sticking stuff in your mouth because your brain is not developed yet and usually it tastes bad, but you keep doing it anyway because you're stupid and a child? I feel like tea taps into that primal thing in us. This tastes like garbage, but I really like it. It's like McDonald's. So where does this go on our tier list? I mean, I'm tempted to go taste tea just because it feels like a pretty good middle baseline, but it's pretty good. I think it's tea-rific. However, I feel like it deserves to be in the taste tea category. However, however, most of these are herbal teas and nobody likes herbal tea. At least nobody that's worth being friends with. So we're gonna throw this in the tea-rific category, I've decided. I'll finish that later. Round two, what I predict to be the only ambrosia. Earl Grey is my tea of choice that's not black tea, because A, it is black tea with bergamot oil in it. And secondly, it's more expensive, but Earl Grey. It goes down silky smooth. It takes off that edge that I was complaining about on the black tea. My God, it's delightful. Earl Grey is fucking delicious and it deserves no less than the Ambrosia tier. It's truly incredible and I love it. Round three is red raspberry and it's this nice blood red color. Horrifies me and excites me an equal amount. It smells like an Izzy. It's virtually indistinguishable. You can't buy these ones on their own, I don't think. So that's why I decided to do it first because it intrigues me. It's truly awful. It's sour, but not sour like a raspberry. It's sour like battery acid. And I can't say that I like it very much at all. And I can't say much else positive about it. I guess it tastes healthy, but like I said, I'm a McDonald's slut, so you know. I wouldn't say it's sickly. I wasn't upset by it and it was almost good because I could tell it was made of raspberries, but it felt like power of suggestion more than power of intuition. So for that reason, it's bearable. Next up, we have lemon ginger, which describes my last girlfriend pretty well. And it smells like lemon and ginger. I don't know what ginger smells like, but I know what ginger ale smells like. It smells like lemon drop and ginger ale. I predict this will not be quite as bad, but firmly tasty. It's delightful. It's got that Earl Grey kind of smoothness. It's an aftertaste, like it washes itself out of your mouth so cleanly. I'm not a huge fan of the lemon ginger combo, gotta be honest, but the experience itself is quite wonderful. I'm actually quite surprised to announce that I think lemon ginger belongs in the terrific category. Would you look at that? Next, we have a devilish duo, and you'll see why when I have the second one. This is peppermint. Smells like wintergreen, more than peppermint, gotta be honest, I think. Do I know what wintergreen smells like? The tea bag is green and peppermint is in winter so I can understand the confusion. Let's let the taste speak for itself however. That's the exact opposite of the last one. The taste is very pleasant, but the experience is atrocious. It's exceptionally smooth going down and the taste is very nice. The lingering mint aftertaste is like the worst mouthwash breath I've ever felt. And it's so exceedingly temporary. It's sticking to every pore in my body. And I don't like that invasion of privacy. The taste is quite nice. I will give it that. It's between tasty and bearable for me. I think I'm gonna put it in tasty. Okay, so reasoning for this ranking, we have peppermint bark here, which is different than peppermint, apparently. This one's smells a lot stronger, a lot more like peppermint. And from what I remember, it tastes pretty ass. So we'll see. 
I was a fool. The taste of that is so dynamic. It has this kick of citrus at the end that's actually kind of intoxicating. That's really magical. I quite like this. I'll be honest, I put this here because I thought this was going to suck more, but that's wonderful enough to be in terrific or even ambrosia. I gotta be honest, that's incredible. That's Earl Grey levels of good. I don't know what adding bark to the mix does for the thing, but we have our second ambrosia right here. Who would have thought? Not me, certainly. This one's producing a lot of weird colors. This one looks even bloodier than the other one did. Orange and spice. Ooh, that's a nice color. I wonder if it's dyed that way or if it's just a color of an orange. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably natural. Well, <laughs> I don't know what's in there, but too much of it. It smells like orange peel and spice. It smells kind of like a fruitcake. You know what it smells like? What are they called? It smells like a Joanne fabric. You know how they smell like weirdly citrusy, but also with the added scent of just lots and lots of dust collecting fabric on the walls? Bit heavy on the orange, but certainly the mildew. Let's give it a shot. That's fucking disgusting. I want nothing to do with that. That is awful. That is a mistake. That is extremely strong. It's everything I hated about the raspberry, but worse. And it doesn't taste healthy for me. So it's got like nothing going for it. The spices don't come through at all. It's just the egregious citrus flavor of the orange. It very well may be battery acid. Truly awful. I hate it. Orange and spice is certified tea rash, my dude. Disgusting. This one's been in here for over 10 minutes and it's not distilling at all. I think this tea might be broken, question mark. This is cozy chamomile. 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 Is this just really clear tea? I don't know what chamomile is, so. Okay, this smells like a fucking haystack, but like a dingy has been rained on, dried out, but not without some damage to itself haystack. It looks like bird seed. Alexa, what is chamomile? According to Wikipedia, chamomile or chamomile is the common name for several daisy-like plants of the family Asteraceae. Two of the species, Matricaria recatita and Anthemus nobilis, are commonly used to make herbal infusions for traditional medicine. There is insufficient scientific evidence that consuming chamomile in foods or beverages has any effect on health. That's not surprising. But what is, is that I'm about to drink it. Hopefully it doesn't suck. It sucks. It tastes like drinking liquid hay. It's quite light. It smells like a flower patch, but like a really bad one, like a public park flower patch where it's like one of those sidewalks that's got all those weird little inlets in it and it goes all bendy and crazy and it's usually surrounding a sculpture. What if inside of all these tiny little fucking three foot cracks, we put flowers, but here's the kicker. We never water them. And all they do is attract bees to this public area. Now that's a great idea. It's within spitting distance of of being viscerally uncomfortable. I really don't like it. I hate to say it, but I think cozy chamomile belongs in the tea rash tier. It doesn't taste like anything, but it's just barely not good enough. And it also tastes nothing like tea, which makes me think that I just drank some like 70 year old shaman's health juice that I bought for $25 and they put it in a stupid little glass vial that's wider at the bottom, make it look all special and witch-like. It's kind of what she said. It it tastes like something that an untrained professional would give you to relieve something that they tell you isn't a big deal and goes away all, all, all the time, but it doesn't. Here, drink my flower juice. It's sure to get rid of your hemorrhoids. It's just not good. Okay, final two. This one I've had before as well, and it's decidedly hit or miss. I either love it or I hate it, and I usually hate it. This is cinnamon. It smells wonderful, like cinnamon and a nice wooden fire. Ooh. That is rough going down. It's kind of spicy. It really fucks you up. Like it's a full process, swallowing that and then eradicating its essence from my mouth. Like, you know when you're sick and for whatever reason you have to relearn how to use your mouth, it's no longer second nature. You have to like work the muscles individually to make it happen. That might be the shaman remedy. I'm not gonna lie, but this is fighting me a lot. The taste is good. It's cinnamony. It's got a kind of oakiness, which I appreciate. It's also got that citrus end to it, which is nice. It's not really for the same purposes as your standard tea. I don't know if it's supposed to be, it's a holiday blend. It's more for celebration. I was already feeling pretty stuffed or whatever the equivalent of that is with liquids. That's double the amount of stuff that I am. <clears throat> I feel like for its intended purpose, it's terrific. It definitely feels festive. You can't like slug down beers without a bit of effort. You can't slug this guy down without any effort. I appreciate that. Here's the thing. It's fun to drink it, but drinking it is not a casual activity. There you go. Last and probably least, cause it's got chamomile in it. Sweet 
dreams. It felt appropriate to end on this one. It's got a nice auburn color. It looks kind of like dissolved human flesh, but that's probably just a coincidence. This one smells a lot better than the chamomile. This one smells quite nice. It might be the residual of the other nine teas, but it kind of smells minty. Well, hang on, let's sift this around a little bit. Oh yeah, that fixed it right up. Yep, it smells like flowers again, except more, less. It's not as strong. What the fuck? I don't know. It's fine. Yeah, it's got chamomile, peppermint, spearmint, orange and spices in it. Hmm. That's the part I don't like, I guess. Oh yeah, now that I'm thinking about that, it got worse all of a sudden. <laughs> it's just a bunch of flavors all at once. They don't particularly mesh. That one just feels like a bunch of things in a glass, which I'm not a fan of. It's okay, but it's not good. Well, I know what that sounds like to me at least. It's decidedly bare herbal. I would never drink it again. It's not offensive like these two. So definitive best teas, Earl Grey, and shockingly, peppermint bark. I'm gonna go now because my stomach is probably gonna explode. That's a lot of different chemicals in my stomach all at once and they're not really playing nicely with each other, so cheers. I'll cut it so it looks normal, but trust me, this is a fucking disaster on my end.